morning. Welcome one and all. It's good to have you here this morning. I'll be have a reading from Chuang Tzu again. This is called Frog Cannot Discuss the Ocean. The hands and the feet have become very important. <laughs> They're like diagnostic tools. So we're going to do a lot of rotation around meridians and lines here and channels as a way of coming to know them and activating them and feeling the whole body. Let us start with active inhale and active exhale. So lift up your toes for a moment. Lift them up as high as you can. Keep lifting up the big toes and all the little baby toes. Lift them up and then press them down into the floor and then lift the heels up. Find your tone in your low belly and lift up from the bottom of the belly and then bring the heels back down and then lift the toes back up. Just waking them up this morning. Hopefully you've been rolling out your feet every day. That's, that's the recommendation while you're waiting for the broadcast. Have a tennis ball or a special little ball you like and lift the toes up come up onto your toes and then set the heels down and have your feet grip the earth for a moment activate the the muscles of the feet and grip the earth and then relax Adjust the pelvis so that it's centered over the feet, front and back, side to side, and then smile. Let the shoulders hang and the neck soften. This is active inhale and active exhale. So through your nostrils, you inhale a little, inhale a little, inhale a little more, and you widen the the ribs out to the side and front and back. And now blow it away many times. <laughs> Continue blowing until no breath remains and pause here. Always sense when your body naturally eases into the inhale. A second round, inhale, inhale, inhale some more. And while you're full of breath here, wiggle a little left and a little right and swirl the breath around, opening up all the undiscovered places and now blow it away completely <laughs> smile into the breath into this next day Again, inhale, inhale, inhale. And so you give it time for the blood to catch up and the lymph to catch up. When you start to sink, blow. <laughs> and pause in the empty place.
finding the center by going out to the edges. Clear the mind, alternate Kapalabhati. Please proceed. Inhale a little, inhale a little, inhale a little. A little more, maybe? Hang in the sky here. When it starts to sink, blow it away. <laughs> end of the breath. The timing is always your own. Never struggle with your breath or force the breath. Let's do another round. I'm going to use my left hand. Clear the mind. Alternate Kapalabhati. Let us begin. Slowly inhale, and inhale, and inhale. Lift up the heart. Smile into the back of your brain. When it's time, blow it away. journey back to the center is a pleasant one. So the whole purpose of these broadcasts is to help you get to 24 minutes, a minimum of left-right breathing every day. And how you get there is 
varied. So you don't have to really do anything here. The fingers work spontaneously. Let the breath be any way it likes to be. Not in charge. And as you start off with left, right breathing here, come inside. Come inside and discover the either the balance or the asymmetry of the sinuses. Let the sinuses be however they need to be. Now let's add in a few body positions to change the dynamic of the breath. So I'm using my right hand for left-right breathing. Take the left hand up and over and have it touch your right ear. Press into your feet, lift the heart, and let your head tip over towards the left shoulder. And let the left-right breathing continue. When you have your head over towards your left shoulder, it's opening up the right side of the body, the, the solar side. So when you're inhaling through the right nostril, feel the right side of the body, the right foot, the right leg, the right hip, the right shoulder, the right hand, the right ear. And then when you're inhaling through the left nostril, feel the left side of the body, the left foot, calf, the left hip, thigh, arm. Then let's add in a hum here, taking a breath. A soft hum. Mm. Let the head float up to center. Switch hands, let your left hand take over left, right breathing. And I will not meet your expectations here. We're going into a twist to the left. Ground your feet, inhale, lift the heart up, and twist your chin to the left. Have your right shoulder stable.
And when you turn your chin to the left, you are once again opening up the solar side of the body. When you find yourself inhaling through the right nostril, feel the right side of the body, the right foot, the right leg, the right hip, the right shoulder. When you're inhaling through the left nostril, feel the left foot, left leg, hip, thigh, left side of the trunk, left side of the neck, left side of the face. Now in your right hand, jowl, thumb and pinky, Thumb and pinky form a ring. No ducks, ring. Reach out through the three fingers with the chin turned to the left. Sweep the right hand up and over. So you have a half moon, but your chin is turning left. Now you can walk the feet all the way together or close together. And open up through the index finger line, open up through the third finger line, open up through the fourth finger line, and now rotate your right hand while you're in the half moon with the chin turned left. Make the right side of the body as, as bright as the sun. Move the breath through the channels. And let's add in a hum here. Come on back to prayer pose. You want to have a block supporting your elbows. Now we've done a lot of solar side. So when you inhale through the right nostril, feel the right side of the body very bright. The juices are not flowing on the left side quite yet. So opening up these channels is a really good thing to do first thing in the morning. Let your left hand take over left right breathing and your right hand comes up and over and touches your left ear grounding through the feet lift up the heart and let your head bow towards the right shoulder the left shoulder is heavy So you don't really have to do anything. You just let it happen on its own. Left, right breathing 
moving any accumulated tensions in the neck and the shoulders. As you're inhaling through the left nostril, feel the left side of the body, the, the moon side of the body. Come to know the moon side of your body a little better. As you're inhaling through the right nostril, feel the right side of the body. And let's add in a hum. the head, the head floats up to center, and then you change hands. The right hand comes to the rescue, picks up the alternating of the train tracks, grounding the feet, lift up, tone in your low belly, and now a little turn and a twist to the right. Turn the chin to the right, the elbow to the right, grounding the feet. The left shoulder is heavy. The heart is lifting. As you inhale through your left nostril, feel the moon side of the body, the left side. As you inhale through the right nostril, feel the right side of the body. Add a hum here. with your left hand, a ring, thumb and fifth finger, a jowl mudra, come on up and over into a half moon with the chin tilting down, and reach out through the index finger 
the third finger, reach out through the fourth finger, thumb and pinky tip to tip forming a ring, pressing into your left heel, and now rotate the left hand. So you can use this as a diagnostic tool. See where you're open and where your your hoses are clogged. <laughs> Get the juices flowing through the moon side. Let us hum here, taking a breath. And then come on out of the half moon. Come back to prayer pose, elbow supported. And now investigate. The moon is in ascendancy. Sun and moon have parity, balance. Let the right hand take over left, right breathing. With the next inhale, lift up your left chin. Press into your toes. Press into the heels. Press evenly through the whole. Stretch the chin up. And here's a little alternate Kapalabhati. Clear the mind with the chin lifted. Go at your own pace here. Bring the head back to center, left, right breathing. Lift the breastbone, bring the chin down and squeeze the throat. Kapalabhati. Return to center. Switch hands. Let your left hand take over. Left right breathing. With the feet well grounded, lift the chin up.
stretch open the throat. A few rounds of alternate Kapalabhati. Turn the head to center, left, right, breathing. Lift up the breastbone. Chin comes down. Last little bit of alternate Kapalabhati here. Head comes to center, left, right breath. Interlace the fingers, brain integration here. Left, right breathing, thumbs under the nose. How quickly the time passes. This is called a frog cannot discuss the ocean by Zhuang Zhu. A frog cannot discuss the ocean. He lives inside a pond. A mosquito cannot discuss snow and ice because it only knows the summer season. A narrow-minded scholar cannot discuss the Tao because he hasn't practiced. You have walked the path, dear friend. Your experience has spilled over your banks and you have seen the great ocean. You understand how small and inconsequential you are. So now it is possible to discuss great principles with you. And bringing your hands down to your chest. And let's do chitta today. This is chitta mudra. Right? Pads of the thumbs, pads of the index fingers, touch. And you bring it over your heart. You lift up your heart. And standing before this next day of life. Sending out a, a loving vibration, because that's all we are really is frogs in a frog pond, sending out vibrations. Send out a loving wave of peace here, taking a breath. Oh. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you for supporting this channel. I will see you all tomorrow.